What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be covering one of the most highly popular and most utilized themes across all of custom sneakers. We're going to be covering a really cool Joker theme. We're going to be walking you guys through some of the things that you'll definitely want to include within any of your Joker themes and we're going to leave some stuff open so that you can go ahead and add your own style of flair and really make this theme your own. But before we go any further, we just want to welcome any new viewers to our YouTube page dedicated entirely to custom sneakers. And we just want to say thank you to all of our past subscribers. We just recently hit the 10,000 subscriber mark. We can't believe it because it seems like just the other day we were telling you guys that we hit the 5,000 subscriber mark. That was when we hosted the Gucci Air Force One giveaway. And now we're here telling you guys that we hit the 10,000 subscriber mark. So of course, you know, that means we're going to be having another giveaway for you guys soon coming up. So we would love to hear from our subscribers and our audience what you guys would like to see as our next giveaway. We will have that coming up soon so go ahead and leave your comments down below for that and some other really exciting news when this video goes live i will actually be in brooklyn for a couple days as i'm going to do another really cool project with the nets a couple months ago when they first debuted their city edition jerseys they had me design a pair of shoes to match them which were inspired by the old uh, notorious big sweaters the kuji sweaters so it was super cool to do that, partake in that, and be involved in um, what I think is a really cool thing the NBA is doing with the City Edition jerseys, paying homage to, you know, legends of the city. Super cool. So I'm going back there. We're going to be doing some more stuff. We're going to be selling some of the shoes in the stores, which is just insane to me to actually be able to go and put our product in the official team store. It's kind of just mind-blowing where custom sneakers has gone and what we're able to do because of it and a lot of that has to do because of the support that we get from you guys here on youtube following us on instagram we can't say thank you guys enough for all that so with all of that aside let's go ahead and dive into tackling this joker theme so when we start talking about a really cool complex character like the joker there's a few things we want to start thinking about what are some of the main things that automatically come to your mind when you start thinking about the joker for most people, it's probably gonna be that he has green hair typically. He's a clown, so he has a white painted face. He has the red smile. He typically has the purple coat that has uh, the button down shirt underneath that Heath Ledger wore with the honeycomb pattern or the hexagon shapes. Those are some of the things that you start to think of that almost all Joker themes are gonna try to incorporate. And so when we start thinking about the Heath Ledger variation of the Joker, who is by far the best one that we've seen, he had a really dark, gritty vibe to him. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to achieve later with this pair of cleats. If we start to think about some of the other variations of the Joker that we've seen, such as the Jared Leto one in Suicide Squad, there's a lot that you could do with the smile that he had on his hand when he held it up. So you could play with that a lot with the Joker theme also. Of course, you could utilize his literal calling card, which is a Joker from a deck of cards. And there's all of his famous slogans that we saw in the movie posters and as some amazing one-liners in the movies, such as the Why So Serious quote, which we will definitely be utilizing within our pair too. And so now I want to walk you guys through some other artist renditions of the Joker theme who I think pulled it off extremely well. First off, Mosh did this Jordan 3, which really, really nails that Heath Ledger hexagon print shirt that we talked about earlier, where he even has all of the tiny little dots included throughout the entire print. This is really well done. This also has that dark, just gritty vibe. The picture set is done amazingly well. It looks like a parking garage. Just has this really kind of Dark Knight vibe. And I think that the tongue, which matches one of the movie posters, is really well done. This is just a great rendition of trying to nail that dark, gritty vibe that Heath Ledger had. I know Mosh has said before that he likes to kind of try to base his superhero and villain shoes almost off if it was a pair of shoes that the character themselves were wearing. Well, this really nails that because the shoes actually match the shirt that he's wearing. So this is a really cool take on creating a superhero or villain theme without going into painting the characters or creating that cartoon version of them themselves or a little portrait. This is kind of just trying to make it a kind of seamless transition as part of their entire outfit, which is a really cool take on this. And if we take a look at some of kick Castle's work, who did some awesome stuff with OBJ over the years from the cleats to the gloves, he did a really good job of just really warping this kind of mouth across the entire shoe where the open red kind of scarred mouth is just taking up large portions of the gloves and cleats. And it just really, really, really sells the Joker theme well. 
And if we take a look at another YouTuber, Vab's artwork, he has a great rendition of the Joker theme. Also on these Air Force Ones, he keeps a lot of the white base, so there's still a lot of breathability. He does a really good job with the mouth, and then he kind of has just enough of the purple and green for you to still really be able to tell the theme. And so those are some of my favorite other artist renditions of the Joker theme. And if we start to take a look at some of my renditions over the years, I definitely think there's a ton of room to improve. So if we go all the way back five years ago, starting with this pair of Jordan 1s, the one thing that I think is a good takeaway from this is that there's just too much purple overall. There's not enough room for some of the other colors to really come out and pop that you wanna see within a Joker theme. So I like the dark gritty vibe that I tried achieving here, but overall, I still wanna see more of the greens and reds popping overall. And then moving into another Jordan 1 a couple years after that, I definitely think these were a step up as these have a little bit more of my style of there's a little bit more color popping. I like trying to utilize the swoosh here as the mouth, but overall, I still just think there needs to be more breathability as far as utilizing more white within the design and whatnot. So that's something that I'm definitely gonna try to improve on within this pair that we're gonna be talking about today. All right, and now we are finally ready to go ahead and move into our painting of these Nike Vapor Untouchable 3s. So first things first, we have to go ahead and do all of our prep work. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just a quick clip of all the supplies that I use. So I do three levels of sanding. We then move into a Scotch-Brite pad, and then we clean everything up with a cotton ball and acetone. If you guys need a more detailed look at how to prep any pair of cleats, we have some really great videos on that that we will have linked down below. So starting to plan out the design a little bit more in my head one thing that I'm definitely gonna do because I said it's a mistake that I made within some of my previous versions of the Joker is I'm gonna leave a little bit more white and just a little bit more room for all the colors to breathe since we're working with some purples reds greens there's a lot of really nice colors that we want to pop and just leaving a little bit more of that white's gonna allow that so I'm gonna try to really utilize that Joker's white painted face to my advantage. So a lot of the other variations of the Joker theme that you'll see out there right now really utilize the Joker's hair, that green color near the sock liner of the shoes. And the way that these cleats worked out, they have this kind of tall sock material that takes up a large portion when you're looking at the shoe from the side. And I don't want to utilize that whole thing as being green. And like I said, everybody else is kind of throwing the green near the sock liner of the cleats. So let's try to utilize a little bit something else. Let's play the green into some other areas that are something just a little bit different than everyone else is doing. You know what I mean? When you're working with a theme like this, you definitely want yours to stand out from everyone else's. So the areas that I'm gonna be utilizing the green later in the video are gonna be near the pull tab. And then I'm also gonna incorporate some green and purple stripes within the design. I know you may not have seen the Joker in a striped shirt before, but I think playing the green right into the purple will just really make it pop. And it's something that I haven't seen before. And I think the green is the hardest color to plan, in my opinion, when you're doing a Joker theme. So that's the one that I kind of need to plan first on where I want it to go. So now into the painting of the cleat, I'm gonna start everything off with a nice mist color, kind of a really, really light gray, which is, is gonna have this washed effect, which we're trying to achieve from that dirty, kind of wet, painted, sweaty look of the clown kind of makeup just rubbing off. So we're then gonna utilize some texture stencils right on top of that, some darker grays, some lighter grays, and then I'm actually gonna utilize a couple skin tone color stencils just to really make it seem like this is kind of like the Joker's face, his mask just running right off his face. That's what we're gonna be going for to just start off this cleat. So now that we have all of that laid down, we're ready to move into our purple. And essentially my goal for these is to turn the front half purple and we're gonna keep the back half with this uh, painted face feel. So now that we've moved into our purple, this is where we're gonna start to utilize some of that honeycomb pattern that is seen on the Joker's shirt. So within a lot of our videos, we do get asked where do we find all of our stencils that we use to create some of our designs. So for this Joker design that we're doing, we went ahead and created this really cool Joker stencil that has multiple sizes of the honeycomb print. It has the ha-ha design that we're gonna be using later. It has a couple different sizes of the Joker face that you can utilize. So feel free to check that out. We have that listed in our Etsy shop and the link for that is down below. And so the way that I like to utilize this honeycomb design is using it with a couple different colors, lighter purple, darker purple, and utilizing all the different sizes of the honeycomb pattern also. So now we're ready to move into some of our green. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna be utilizing the green 
within the purple and just creating this really cool stripe effect near the front portion of the shoe. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some strips of tape to create this stripe effect, which we will then airbrush some green on top of. And another thing that people have been asking us a lot is about when they lay down tape for something like this, or they lay down stencils, how come they're getting paint to peel up? And to me, there's typically two main reasons why that may be happening. First, you definitely didn't prep enough. So like I said earlier, you definitely wanna fully utilize some sanding, some scotch Brite pad, and some cotton balls within any type of material, unless it's something soft like mesh or notebook, but any leathers or plastic, you really have to take those steps for the paint to really have something to grab onto. Or the second thing that may be happening is you didn't allow enough dry time in between coats or your coats of paint may have been just a little bit too thick. But when you've done all those other things right, you have nothing to worry about when trying to create a stripe effect on an already painted surface like this. So after we peel back the tape on these stripes, overall I think that the green's a little bit too strong, so I'm gonna try to blend it in. So what I'm gonna do for that is just start blending in some purples right on top of that green, and it's just gonna become a little bit more subtle. And then I'm gonna utilize our honeycomb print again right on top of both of these. We're gonna be doing this in a black and in a really light misty gray. And now we're ready to move into some of the Joker's Ha Ha print, which I'm gonna include all over throughout the shoes. I think it adds to this kind of dark, gritty, almost like spray painted everywhere, outdoor feel that I kind of think of when I start to think of the Joker. So I'm gonna be doing this Ha Ha print in a few different colors, starting off with a dark gray, and then moving into a red, and we're also gonna be utilizing that green everywhere also. And to me, this is just part of the style that I'm really trying to achieve with these, of just creating this overall dark, gritty vibe. I think this Ha Ha print in a lot of different colors and sizes almost has this like spray painted on the walls type feel that this villainous Joker might be doing, leaving Ha Ha prints everywhere. That's just kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a couple coats of green on our pull tab, and then we're gonna hit the entire thing with a nice dark vignette around it. So the next thing that I'm gonna to try to do is to take our Nike Swoosh and utilize that as the Joker's mouth. And so rather than just painting it as a solid red, I'm just gonna give it this free flowing feel where the whole Swoosh is just kind of encapsulated into this mouth type feel. And so since you'll see our Swoosh is already kind of blending into this dark purple area, what I'm gonna do rather than laying down any coats of white or light gray with the brush, I'm just gonna go ahead, take my airbrush, get really close to it, and just lay down these super light misty coats of this mist color that will just help the red pop a little bit more. Rather than trying to move right into the red on top of the purple, this is just gonna help that red be a little bit more vibrant. And then same thing when I load the red into the airbrush, I'm just gonna kind of mist it around the swoosh. I'm not trying to be too precise as we're just getting really close with the airbrush. And we're just kind of letting it be a little bit free flowing rather than it trying to line up perfectly within the lines. It's just a little bit more free flowing type feel. And then what we're gonna do near the ends of the swishes is get extremely close with our airbrush. Make sure that your needle is clean and your nozzle cap because you definitely don't want any sputtering going on. So you're gonna get extremely close and just try to create this squiggly line feel and do this with a couple different shades of red. And like I said, all of this is meant to be really free flowing. It's not about being perfectly precise. We're not taking a paintbrush and painting perfectly within the lines. And we're gonna be utilizing the same exact technique near the back of the shoe when we try to create that dark circle effect that the Joker has around his eyes. And we're really just trying to achieve this kind of worn out makeup look where the makeup is kind of running down the face and you can really do this well with the airbrush extremely close, just kind of creating those tight squiggly lines. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do around the entire shoe, around all of the main curves and contours near the midsole line and then near where any major panels meet, I'm gonna hit these with a nice dark vignette around everything, which like I keep saying, just adds to that overall dark gritty vibe. And now it is time to just go ahead and peel back the tape. I found a dream that I can speak to. I found a dream.
All right, guys, if you made it this far, we just want to say thank you as you could have been doing anything, but you chose to spend a little bit of time with us. So we greatly appreciate that. We had a lot to talk about with this theme. Like I said, this is one of the most highly, highly, highly requested, popular, utilized custom themes overall. If you look up any of your favorite artists, you can almost guarantee they've taken a stab at the Joker theme. So hopefully after watching a video like this, you feel inspired to go ahead and give your own stab at the Joker theme. We would love to see any renditions you guys make of this theme as it's one of my favorite and everybody can kind of have their own spin on it, which is super cool. So make sure you guys stay tuned for our upcoming 10K giveaway and a little update for anybody who's wondering, we are working on getting our Twitch set up. So we will be going live on Twitch when we're recording and painting the shoes that you guys see in some of these YouTube videos. So a lot of people have asked about that. So stay tuned, Twitch should be up running in the next week or so. So we're super excited about that. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to our YouTube page, make sure you go ahead and hit that bell so you're notified anytime we post a new video. Go ahead and give this video a like as it really helps the page grow and we really appreciate all the help you guys give us to make this page grow. So thank you guys for that and we will see you guys in that next video.